Beneath Antarctica's frozen wasteland lies a terrifying hidden world that scientists are only beginning to understand. A realm of ancient secrets and unnatural discoveries that will challenge everything you thought you knew about our planet. For centuries, this continent of ice has guarded its mysteries. But now, the ice is speaking. Strange sounds emanate from below. Satellite images reveal structures that shouldn't exist. And witnesses report things that defy explanation. Scientists drilling into the ice have discovered something that defies belief. An entire network of lakes and rivers flowing beneath miles of solid ice, isolated for millions of years. What life forms lurk in these untouched waters? And what are governments hiding about what's really been found? Some call it Earth's final frontier. Others believe it holds evidence of extraterrestrial contact. The truth? It may be far more disturbing than we're prepared to accept. Join us as we peel back the layers of secrecy and venture into the forbidden depths of Antarctica. In the age of information, Antarctica has become more than just a continent. It's become a canvas for our darkest theories and most haunting questions. Some claim Antarctica isn't a continent at all, but rather an impenetrable ice wall, a boundary at the edge of our reality. These flat earth believers suggest that governments worldwide collaborate to keep us trapped within, patrolling these frozen barriers to ensure no one discovers what lies beyond. But perhaps more chilling are the whispers of what might be hidden beneath the ice itself. Since the 1940s, rumors have persisted that high-ranking Nazi scientists fled to Antarctica in the final days of World War II. Declassified documents reveal that Hitler himself had ordered expeditions to this frozen land years before the war, supposedly establishing Base 211, an underground fortress where advanced technology continues to be developed in secret to this day. The evidence? Mysterious heat signatures detected beneath the ice where no geothermal activity should exist, military no-fly zones with no public explanation, and unexplained disappearances of research teams who ventured too close to restricted areas. Even more disturbing are the satellite anomalies discovered in 2012. Strange geometric formations resembling the ancient pyramids of Egypt Egypt and Mexico, perfect right angles and smooth surfaces that nature simply doesn't create. Were these the remnants of an advanced civilization lost to time when Antarctica was a lush paradise thousands of years ago? The skies above Antarctica tell an equally unsettling story. Since the 1950s, military pilots and civilian researchers have reported unidentified crafts performing impossible maneuvers over the ice before diving straight down, disappearing beneath the surface without a trace. These reports aren't from civilians with smartphone cameras, but from trained observers with radar confirmation. Perhaps most terrifying of all is what happened during Operation High Jump in 1947. Admiral Richard Byrd led America's largest Antarctic expedition. 13 ships, 33 aircraft, and over 4,700 men with enough supplies for eight months. Yet the mission was mysteriously abandoned after just six weeks. The official explanation, harsh weather conditions. But declassified journals from crew members tell a different story. Of flying disks rising from the water, of casualties that were never reported, and of something so terrifying that Admiral Byrd later warned that the United States should prepare for visitors from the polar regions. For decades, the cold winds of Antarctica have carried whispers of the unknown. But how much of it is real and how much is designed to keep us afraid? What if the most frightening possibility is that these theories exist not to reveal the truth, but to obscure it? A smokescreen of aliens and Nazis and ancient civilizations, all manufactured to hide something far more terrifying beneath the ice, something that was never meant to be discovered. But to truly understand what might be hidden beneath Antarctica, we must first separate fact from fiction. The real science of this frozen continent is perhaps more mysterious than any conspiracy. Antarctica is not merely ice. It's the largest ice sheet on Earth, covering an area larger than the United States and Mexico combined. This isn't just a blanket of snow 
It's a crushing weight, over 2.7 kilometers thick in some places, a frozen mass so heavy it presses the entire continent down into the Earth's crust. Within this ice lies 70% of our planet's fresh water. If it were to melt completely, global sea levels would rise by over 60 meters, drowning coastal cities worldwide. But what's truly unsettling isn't what would happen if the ice melted. It's what we've discovered is already hidden beneath it. In 1970, scientists using radar technology to measure the ice depth detected something impossible. Liquid water where temperatures should be far below freezing. They dismissed it as an equipment malfunction. It would take nearly three decades before we would accept the truth. Antarctica isn't solid ice all the way down. In 1996, Russian scientists drilling at Vostok Station broke through the ice into a void. What they found defied all expectations. A massive freshwater lake larger than Lake Ontario, completely sealed off from the for up to 25 million years. Lake Vostok wasn't just water. It was a time capsule from an era before humans walked the Earth. But that was just the beginning. Using advanced satellite technology, researchers have now identified over 400 lakes hidden beneath the ice. Not isolated puddles but an interconnected system of waterways, rivers flowing in complete darkness, carrying nutrients and possibly life forms between vast bodies of water that have never seen sunlight. In 2013, a team drilling into Lake Willens made a discovery that changed our understanding of life itself. In this pitch black, freezing water cut off from the surface for thousands of years, they found living microorganisms, thousands of species, many completely unknown to science, thriving in conditions previously thought uninhabited habitable. These weren't dormant life forms barely clinging to existence. They were actively metabolizing, reproducing, evolving, creating entire ecosystems in one of the most extreme environments on Earth. The implications are staggering. If life can exist here, completely isolated from the sun and atmosphere for millions of years, then where else might it survive? What other forms of life might have developed in these lightless waters, evolving along paths entirely different from the surface world we know? Most disturbing of all, what if these subglacial lakes aren't as isolated as we believe? What if something that's been trapped beneath the ice for millions of years has found a way out. Of all Antarctica's hidden waters, none are more enigmatic than the subglacial lakes. Over 400 bodies of liquid water trapped beneath crushing ice, each a potential cradle for life forms unknown to science. Lake Vostok stands as the crown jewel of these underwater mysteries, nearly the size of Lake Ontario, yet completely invisible from the surface. Its waters have remained sealed off from our atmosphere for at least 15 million years, possibly much longer. To put this in perspective, when Vostok was last exposed to air, our earliest human ancestors had not yet evolved. Whatever exists in those waters has been developing in isolation since before mankind walked the earth. The water itself defies explanation. Despite temperatures that should freeze it solid, Vostok remains liquid. The immense pressure from the ice above alters water's very physics, while geothermal heat from below and the insulating properties of the ice create an environment that shouldn't exist, yet does. In 2013, Russian scientists finally penetrated the lake after decades of drilling. What they extracted wasn't just water, it was a window into an alien world. The samples contain DNA from over 3,500 species, the majority completely unknown to science, not fossilized remains, living organisms. But Lake Vostok isn't alone. In Lake Willens, American researchers discovered a thriving ecosystem of microbes that don't require sunlight or oxygen to survive. Instead, they metabolize minerals from the bedrock itself, a form of life completely independent from the surface world we know. Even more disturbing are the samples retrieved from Lake Mercer in 2018. Scientists were shocked to discover the remains of tardigrades, crustaceans, and even small fish-like creatures preserved in the sediment. The official explanation suggests these were ancient remnants from when Antarctica was a temperate forest millions of years ago. But carbon dating revealed something impossible. Some of these remains were just thousands of years old, not millions. If Antarctica has been covered in ice for the last 15 million years, how could these creatures have been alive so recently? Perhaps most chilling are the unexplained phenomena reported by research teams. Sonar equipment detecting large moving objects in Lake Vostok. Seismic sensors registering rhythmic vibrations that some scientists have likened to heartbeats within the ice. And unexplained equipment failures whenever drilling approaches certain depths. 
The truth is, we've barely scratched the surface of these hidden waters. Less than 1% of Antarctica's subglacial environment has been explored in any detail. We have more comprehensive maps of Mars than we do of what lies beneath the ice at our own South Pole, which raises the most haunting question of all. What if we aren't the first ones to explore these waters? What if something else has already been living down there, evolving in isolation for millions of years, completely unknown to us? NASA's sudden intense interest in Antarctica's subglacial lakes raises disturbing questions. Why would an agency dedicated to space exploration pour millions into researching water trapped beneath ice on Earth? The answer lies 628 million kilometers away, on Europa, Jupiter's ice-covered moon. The conditions beneath Antarctica's ice sheets are virtually identical to what exists beneath Europa's frozen surface. The same is true for Enceladus, Saturn's mysterious moon, where geysers of water vapor erupt through cracks in the ice. NASA isn't studying Antarctica to understand Earth. They're using it as a testing ground for space exploration. The logic is chilling. If life can evolve in the lightless waters beneath our poles, then similar life could exist throughout our solar system and beyond. But there's something else drawing NASA to Antarctica, something they've been far less forthcoming about. In 2018, researchers detected anomalous high-energy particles emerging from the ice. These weren't cosmic rays or any known radiation. The signals appeared to originate from deep beneath the surface, behaving in ways that defy our understanding of physics. Some scientists believe these signals are merely the result of an unknown cosmic particle. Others suggest they might be evidence of dark matter, but a classified report leaked from within NASA proposes something far more unsettling, that these signals bear the mathematical hallmarks of intelligent transmission. Could the answers to life beyond Earth be hidden right here, beneath our own ice? Or is something beneath Antarctica already communicating with something beyond our world? Antarctica is the most heavily restricted continent on Earth, and not by accident. Massive no-fly zones cover entire regions where commercial and even scientific aircraft are strictly forbidden. Satellite imagery of these zones is deliberately blurred or completely redacted, raising one critical question. What are they desperately trying to hide? Operation Deep Freeze, a U.S. military expedition launched in 1955, was officially a scientific mission, but the scale was unprecedented. Over 4,700 military personnel, advanced weaponry, and experimental technology deployed to a continent with no indigenous population and no immediate strategic value. Declassified documents reveal something even more bizarre. Despite being a scientific mission, the majority of personnel were combat-trained military units. Specialized equipment designed for underground exploration accompanied the researchers. Radio communications from the expedition were encrypted at levels typically reserved for top-secret military operations. Whistleblowers who've spoken out claim the mission discovered massive underground structures, not natural formations, but engineered spaces that suggest advanced construction techniques far beyond 1950s technology. What's more alarming? Since Operation Deep Freeze, an invisible perimeter has been maintained around specific Antarctic regions. No independent researchers are allowed. No comprehensive geological surveys permitted. An entire continent locked down under the guise of scientific preservation. The most terrifying possibility isn't what might be hidden beneath the ice. It's why so much effort is being made to ensure we never find out. Something doesn't want to be discovered. From conspiracy theories to scientific discoveries, Antarctica remains Earth's most profound mystery. What began as whispers of Nazi bases and alien encounters has transformed into something far more terrifying, a landscape of real, documented enigmas that challenge everything we understand about life on our planet. Subglacial lakes isolated for millions of years, mysterious radio signals emerging from beneath the ice, ecosystems thriving in conditions that should be impossible, military-grade secrecy surrounding an entire continent. Each piece of evidence points to one unsettling conclusion. Antarctica is not what we've been told. The myths might seem outlandish, 
but the scientific discoveries are even more incredible. Microbial life evolving in total darkness, potential ecosystems untouched by surface conditions, environments that mirror potential habitats on distant moons. Our understanding of life itself is being rewritten by what lies beneath the ice. And yet, the more we discover, the more questions arise. Why are entire regions of Antarctica still off limits? What drives governments and scientific institutions to maintain such strict control over this frozen continent? Maybe the scariest thing about Antarctica isn't what's hidden beneath the ice, but the fact that we're not supposed to know. What secrets are waiting to be uncovered? What truths remain buried beneath miles of ancient ice?